Hey guys, what's going on? So this is going to be an achievement guide for Awaken the Gazebo in Black Ops 2. Uh, what you have to do is pack a punch a weapon during round 1 with no one using the bank or weapon locker and buried. Now, there are a lot of ways to do this. This is the way I did it, but um, yeah, as I said, there's lots of ways. So my way is to get, like I just kept hitting the box, like you would place the chalk outline for the Remington, and then go hit the box and then hope to get either the time bomb or the paralyzer and if you get the time bomb you would want to get 5,000 points or I guess 6,000 points would it be I don't know you just want to get a lot of money yeah 6,000 points and then throw your uh, time bomb down and then uh, just open all the doors just play through make sure you have everything open and then uh, reset the time bomb buy the gun, and then go and uh, pack a punch it, pretty much. But uh, anyways, this is how I did it, and I got the paralyzer off the start, so yeah, I'll get into it now. Alright, so at the start of the game, you can grab the M14 if you want before you fall down. Up to you. Uh, I choose to get the B23R. Uh, you get one of those. Well, really, you can get whatever, but I wouldn't suggest spending anything more than a thousand on a gun. But uh, yeah, you just want to get a gun so you can actually kill the uh, ghost ladies in the house. But you want to draw the uh, Remington on the wall just to give you a thousand points. And uh, just come over to the box and then just hope you get the uh, Paralyzer or Time Bomb, as I said. Uh, I would just hit it once or twice by killing zombies and then uh, restart every time. Uh, that's just me, of course. Like, you don't. There's other ways to do it, as I was saying. But. Uh, you're gonna then release this guy, uh, whatever you want to call him. There's a bunch of names going around, so I don't know what's uh, real if there is even a real name for him. But yeah. Uh, so give him the uh, alcohol. For some reason, uh, this part of theater mode just didn't want to show the key or the alcohol. So yeah. But uh, yeah, now you just want to kill all the zombies except for one, obviously, because if you killed all of them, then uh, you can't get the achievement. Uh, also with the Paralyzer, if you did not know, uh, if you look at the ground and then press A, you can fly. That's why I'm going for the Paralyzer, not just any gun. Because this eliminates you having to get a lot of the alcohol or opening up doors to get around. Also, if you go into the barn and then there's a tunnel there, that will take you to the saloon and then you can jump across to get the gun. Or into the gunsmith, so... Uh, if you didn't get the Paralyzer, you can do it that way as well. But pretty much all you got to do now is draw every single chalk line, or chalk out line on the uh, walls. There's one, or two I guess, in by the jail, then one by the box. There's this one here, which is on top of the saloon. The other one is in the courthouse, I guess. Up top, uh, you can trample steam them across there if you don't have the paralyzer and don't want to open up the door but uh, you'd obviously have to open up another door to build the trample steam and then uh the last one you're going to need alcohol to get to so just fly up on top of the saloon and then uh, drop down grab the booze and uh you want to head out towards uh the graveyard or mansion area and then you're going to need to get uh, the big guy to knock down the wall leading into the church. When you uh, give him the alcohol, by the way, the farther away he is from the wall that he's breaking down, the more points you'll get. So to ma maximize points, you want to be as far away as possible. But uh, I was just trying to be safe here, so I got him pretty close. Uh, so I didn't get as many points as I could have. But once he breaks that down, you want to run all the way back to the gunsmith, get the gun that's on the wall, whatever one you left for last, or maybe it's not even last, but just get that uh, chalk outline, then place it, and uh, if it's your last one, you'll get 2,000 points instead of 1,000 points. Also, if you have double points, it will double them, so keep that in mind. And then you want to turn on the power. I went through this whole thing and forgot to turn on the power, and the pack-a-punch just does not work without it, so... Yeah, just remember to do that before you go through the whole house part, just because it's a pain in the ass. 
Uh, but anyways, here is where I buy the B23R. It costs a thousand, and I just get it just so I can make it through the uh, house because the paralyzer doesn't hurt the ghosts at all. It just slows them down. So just be uh, careful about that. Um, the wall, or this, not wall, the door costs 1250 so uh, just make sure you have over, I guess, 7,250 points, and uh, you should be good. Uh, when going through the hedge maze, the green doors that block your path sometimes are, uh, I guess you can pass over them if by flying, but the hedges you can't. And uh, yeah, you just go to the pack punch in the back of the gazebo there, and uh, yeah, you get your achievement. So I hope this helped. I mean, it's not the most ideal way, but I mean, it's pretty freaking easy if you can get the paralyzer or uh, time bomb first, because both are pretty much luck dependent. But yeah, and I hope this helped, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.